also making news today, new at five. In Christian County, the health department there and city leaders introduced their pandemic task force today. As our Melanie Chapman explains, they sent an emotional message about masking. What was expected to be a very informational press conference turned very emotional at a time. My wife. My wife is the one who passed away from this disease. Tom Gammon's wife, Joyce, was the first and so far only person to succumb to COVID-19 in Christian County. I wear a mask out of my prayer that your family does not have to endure the heartbreak that mine is experiencing now. Gammon shares his heartache and hopes that others will hear his story and that others will wear a mask. I wear a mask out of the hope and prayer that you do not have to leave a loved one at the hospital and not be able to sit with them, not be able to touch them, not be able to kiss their forehead or offer comfort to them, not be able to hold their hand and pray. Gammon said he and his wife took all the precautions, including wearing masks. The Christian County Health Department Administrator, Dr. Karen Peek, said the best way to slow the spread is if everyone wore masks. Springfield just made masking mandatory this week. Peek would like to see the same in her county. The evidence is there, and I know a lot of people want to deny that, and a lot of people think we're taking away their rights, but, you know, as Mr. Um, Gammon had mentioned, I mean, this was permanent for him. This is only temporary for us if we wear a face mask. Christian County will leave the decision of making masking mandatory up to each municipality, but Peek acknowledges she fears what will happen if people are not wearing masks. I think we'll see a tremendous increase, more so than what we've seen now. So that's why we're here today. On Monday evening, the Nixa City Council will discuss making masking mandatory. In Ozark, Melanie Chapman, Ozarks First. Christian County is trying to hire 20 more contact tracers. Green County has secured funding to hire 37 more contact tracers.